Hello everyone, I am Sibendra Singh. Today I am going to discuss a past year question from Stanford University Competitive Examination in Mathematics. It is a question from 1946 paper. Uh, this examination used to be held few years before, but nowadays this examination is not being held. But uh, we shall be discussing this question. Uh, this question question is from combinatrix. Here it is given that in a tennis tournament there are 12 participants. In the first round of the tournament each participant plays just once so that and games each occupying a pair of players. We need to show that for the first round can be arranged in exactly this many different ways. Now let's understand the question. Suppose we have two and many participant. Now we need to find the pair. We need to find and many pairs. So that in this pair exactly two people are there, two participants are there. Here exactly two participants are there. Here two participants and here two participants. So the number of ways this and number of pairings can be formed is to be this much. So we need to show that. So let P and be the number of pairing for twin participants. Okay. Now, if you are a participant, then what would happen? See. Suppose you are here are when many participants and you are one of them. Now you are you are to be placed in any one of the and groups, right? And one of the and pairings. So if I take you, okay, and it doesn't matter how the pair is formed. Okay. So now suppose there is no such pair, there is no ready-made pair. Okay, we construct a pair. So suppose you are a participant. Okay, uh, let's write if you are a participant, okay, then you are a participant, then how many percent remains here? Here remains exactly 2n minus 1 participant, right? Because you are one among them and you are taken out okay now in order to form a pairing with you there are 2n minus 1 other participants so if i select any of the 2n minus 1 participant and keep that one with you then it form it forms a one pairing right then how many participants remains here it remains 2n minus 2 participants okay so once a pairing is formed, then there remains 2n minus 2 participant, right? So, this is what we're going to do next. If you are a participant, you can be matched with in one of the other 2n minus 1 participant right so now suppose your partner is selected
is selected. Or say once your patent is selected, okay, then there remains to n minus two other participants. participants uh, among whom and minus one pairings are to be formed. Right? So now, tell me, what is this? What is 2n minus 1, the number of ways in which 2n minus 1 remaining participants uh, can form n minus 1 pairing? So, this thing is in fact, uh, the number of such thing is pn minus 1, right? So, you get pn is equal to what 2n minus 1 times p of n minus 1 isn't it right because now once if you are a participant then if 2n minus 1 other participant is selected then one group is already formed right then remaining 12 minus two participant remains among which exactly n minus one groups are formed each group containing exactly two players right so this is pn minus one and since both the events that have are happened together so it should be multiplied right so we get the relation pn is equal to 2n minus one times 2n minus one times pn minus one right this implies that pn by pn minus one is equal to 2n minus one right now let's take a product of k from one to and uh, uh say it is for k many participant Right, if it is for n, then instead n we replace it by k okay. So this means that p n by p n minus one into p n minus one by e n minus two this into p two by p two by p one is equal to two n minus one times two n minus three times up to three into two three into one right so these things can be cancelled now p one what is p one P1 is the number of pairing. There are two participants, two into one, two participants, uh, from which exactly one pairing should be formed, uh, such that the pair content exactly two pair. So the, the number of such thing is two, right? So P1, sorry, the number of such thing is one because this is forming there are two, two person and exactly one group is to be formed. So this can be one this, right? So P1 is equal to one. Therefore, Pn is equal to one into this thing. One into, one into, three into, five into, two and two and minus three times, 
to n minus 1. So this is the required number of forms. Number of pairing. Okay, this is the required number of pairing such that twin participants can form pair of n pairings, right? Such that each pair contains exactly two pairs. So this is how this problem is solved. Thank you and have a nice day.